Hi, this is Dr. G. Vikas Paul. In this session, we'll discuss about strain energy concept. So, what is strain energy? Strain energy is an internal energy which is stored in any material, which is loaded within its elastic limit. So, suppose if we take a simply supported beam, and there is some load P acting on it. Okay, due to this load, what happens? There is some deflection, right? So, whenever we remove the load. within the elastic limit this will come to its original position right it will come to its original position because of the internal energy stored in the body okay so whenever there is a load applied a deflection is formed as well as there is some internal energy formed due to that internal energy when the load is removed it will come to its original position okay so strain energy is defined as an internal energy stored inside the body any material which is loaded within the elastic limit okay strain energy is also called as a work done by a loaded material so the other definition is work done by the loaded material so here load is there due to this some buckling has occurred if we remove this load it will come to its original position within the elastic limit because of the internal energy stored in the body okay so work done by the material work done by the material it is also called as resilience strain energy is also called as resilience so what is the unit of strain energy so strain energy is, is nothing but work done therefore force into displacement you can say so newton meter newton mm coulomb per meter per meter per mm anything so for strain energy to be stored material must deform within the elastic limit so what is the condition here for strain energy to be stored so within the elastic limit only the deformation should, should be there strain energy depends upon applied load the load can be gradually so depending upon the load the strain energy is stored there are three types of loads so depending upon load so the load can be gradually applied load suddenly applied load or impact load three types of loads are there gradually applied load means step by step the load is applied slowly uniformly suddenly applied load means load is applied suddenly or uh, impact load means load is uh, applied from a certain height strain energy principle is used in sprints you can see in some in the sprints okay whenever the load comes what happens it will compress and some internal energy is stored if you remove the load automatically it comes to its original position because of this strain energy so when the load is removed material will regain its original position resilience is the energy which is stored within elastic limit it is denoted by strain energy u so so energy is nothing but resilience which is nothing but work done okay so the formula for strain energy is u equal to sigma square by 2e into volume where sigma is stress in the material in newton per mm square e is inverse modulus of the material in newton per mm square v is the volume of the material mm cube the strain energy in any actual loaded member so let us uh, so derive this form this formula so take a member actually loaded load is applied actually that means at the, on the neutral axis okay so p is it is pulled this side and pulled this side so from here what is the stress stress is the which stress which is stored in the bar sigma equal to p by area okay this is area of cross section and p by a is nothing but stress we know that okay now if i show this in form of graph load versus deflection as the as the load is increasing that means as the force is increasing deflection will also increase it will extend right okay so deflection is also increasing so p is directly proportional to delta l so the graph will be in this way okay and this area under the graph is nothing but work done okay but work done is nothing but your your uh, strain energy Okay. This is for gradually applied load case. Okay, for gradually applied load, step by step when the load is applied, this will be the uh, shape. Okay, so sigma equal to p by a area under the curve equal to so which is equal done. to strain energy. So energy strain energy equal to area. So area of this triangle is half into this is p height is p. Okay, and this is delta l. So half into base into height, half into p into delta l, half into P into delta L. Okay. So we can write it as half into P into delta. Is nothing but stress load is nothing but stress into area, and delta L is nothing but P L by 
ए ओके सो डेल्टा एल इज नथिंग बट इज नथिंग बट पी एल बाई ए सो हियर पी बाई ए इज नथिंग बट सिग्मा सो सिग्मा एल बाई ई सो इंस्टेड ऑफ डेल्टा एल वी हैव रिटर्न सिग्मा एल बाई ई नाउ यू कैन राइट इट एज सिग्मा स्क्वेयर ए एल बाई टू ई सो ए एल इज नथिंग बट वॉल्यूम ए एल एंड लेंथ इज वॉल्यूम सो दिस इज अ यू फार्मूला यू इक्वल टू सिग्मा स्क्वेयर वी बाई टू what is proof resilience it is nothing but maximum strain energy stored in a material maximum strain energy stored in a material is known as proof resilience proof resilience means maximum strain energy stored in a body so u max so here u equal to sigma square v by 2e so u max equal to sigma max square by into v by 2e so this is a uh, proof resilience now what is the modulus of resilience it is the strain energy per unit volume so u by v u is nothing but this one divided by v Okay, v v gets cancelled. You will get this one. This is your modulus of resilience sigma square by two e. So stresses in members for different cases. For first case, gradually apply load. This will be the graph. Okay, and stress sigma equal to p by a newton per mm square. For suddenly apply load, sigma is two times p by a, and this will be the graph. Suddenly apply load. So suddenly load is applied. Sudden deflection. Okay. So this will be the graph for second case. Then third case, impact load. So this is a rod. This is a collar. This is a weight P. Okay, impact in impact load. The load will be released from this height H. From the height H, the load is released and it will fall on collar. This is the impact load. So for this case, stress sigma equal to P by A plus under root P by A square plus 2E P H by A L, where P is the weight and H is the height from which it is released. Thank you.